Donna, good evening to you. I'm Paul Cicala. The number one seeded Santa Cruz Boys volleyball team has been on a mission all season, hoping to stay unbeaten and move to a record of 20 wins and no losses. This after a big victory against Sunrise Mountain 3-zip tonight and will now take part in the 5A state championship game on Saturday. In the 4A semifinals, coach David Garwaki and South Point were hoping to knock off the American Leadership Academy from Gilbert North. And first, look at the defenses, Denton Lieber and Dylan Dreis with the blocks. South Point trying to hang tough. And then on the offensive for the Lancers, Denton Lieber with a spike for South Point. But sadly, that's as good as it would get as the visitors from Maricopa County. They would take control. South Point falls 3-0 to zero, but ends the season with a respectable 31 wins and 7 losses. Hey, win tonight by Coach Kelly Flower and the CDL softball team. And they'll punch their ticket to Tuesday's state championship game. And in the waiting, South Point, who's already marched through the winner's bracket to get here at the 4A level. Let's pick things up in the bottom of the sixth inning. The run rule on the line at 10-1 for CDO against Paradise Honors. And Julia Holt will bust out with a walk-off game-winning double. That's the game-winning RBI as well. Megan Clark is coming around to score to make it 11-1. And the run rule is on. Kenya Del Oro will celebrate when Julia Holt is coming through. Hey, moving on, Sabino High School has been nothing but dominant this season. Up next, a matchup on Friday in the 3A state championship game against Winslow. The number one seeded Sabercats have outscored their opponents in the playoffs 36-7. Coach Cindy Cuvias went from an assistant coach last year to the head coach this year to the state title game again. I think it's the Sabino standard. Um, it's, it's something that they set. We talked a lot about it this year. Uh, and I think it's pride that they carry within the program. So um, I think that kind of helps with the transition from year to year. We just have a really, really good bond with each other, and we all really mend well together. Our head coach this year, she was our assistant coach last year, so we know her, and she knows us, and we trust her, she trusts us. I mean, it just shows you how hard these girls work and how hard work pays off. I mean, we're out here every day just grinding and doing our best. Hey, moving on, Coach Rebecca Quiroz and the Pima softball team will be a four seed in the upcoming Region 1 tournament. It all goes down tomorrow. It'll be a tough task for the Aztecs to advance to the national tournament, that's for sure. But it's been a tremendous freshman season for Pima College left fielder Elise Munoz. Playing in honor of her grandfather, Papa, who died earlier this year from colon cancer, the South Point Catholic product is hitting 415 on the season. Munoz had a stretch in which she hit leadoff for Pima in April, where in four games, she had 12 hits and 15 at-bats with seven runs scored. The Aztecs won all four of those games as well. Elise Munoz says she has never been this hot at the plate, not even during her three state championship seasons for the Lancers. Just try to keep it simple. I don't think about it. When I start to get into it, you just have to keep it simple. Just hit, see ball, hit ball. She's a gamer. She competes, and uh, this kid will go, you know, 15 pitches in that bat and then beat out a bunch. She's just that kind of gamer. We call Elise our little firecracker. This just whole coaching staff, this team, they're really like, they're really pushing. Like, they'll push me to be the best that I can be, and I really like that about everyone. Hey, and back to the playoffs, and congrats is in order to the Nogales High School baseball team in the Phoenix area tonight. They beat Desert Mountain 5-3 to three to advance to Tuesday's 5A state championship game. And at the 4A level on Monday, Cedo and South Point will play in the title game as well. That's been moved to High Corbett right here in Tucson. Can't wait for that. Paul Cicala for News 4 Tucson Sports. We'll be right back.